Today, this is a very, very special time for us to learn from the experts. We learn how to stay mentally healthy during this time of uncertainty and time of trouble. And with us today, we are connected with Dr. Andri SPKJ FAPM from Omni Hospital. Good morning, doctor. It's so great to have you here on C Today. C Today. Hi. Hi. Good morning, Hi, Dr. Good morning, Andri. All. Thank you. Thank you for Thank having you us. For Thank you for being me. here with us, Doc. So, you know, it is Friday, <laughs> but, you know, we're talking something that is very deep and, you know, something is very personal, very important and very essential, too, because, you know, yeah. people are always thinking, you know, about the health uh, issues, but, you know, mental issues could we be really damaged, especially for the younger generation. Now, is it okay, Doc, for us to be not okay in the middle of the pandemic? Because people always said, you got to be positive, you got to yes. be positive, you know, see see the light in the, yeah. in the end of the tunnel. But is it okay for you to be stressed out, you know, or maybe to feel solemn during this pandemic? Yes, it's, it is very common to feel uncertain and feel stressed about the things that we have uh, now uh, as a pandemic is still going on. And then we have to be very careful. I know that some of the patients or some of the, you know, kind of colleagues, uh, you know, has experienced uh, mental health problems related to the pandemic. They cannot sleep well, uh, they feel stressed about losing jobs or things like uh, related to jobs or economic problems, financial problems. But I think uh, when we see the persons as having like a uh, kind of mental issue like that, and I believe uh, we have, if we have a strong mental health or mm -hmm. maybe we have a, a good uh, strength of mental health mm -hmm. and we can, you know, adapt with the situations because we know uh, from the studies and researchers uh, say that uh, in every situation, in crisis situations like pandemic like this, there will be still a hope. Mm -hmm. to get through you know it's just like that yeah, what we call it in the very beginning of the time that we have a mechanism you know defense mechanism to to you know to cover all the things that change our you know life like uh today yeah it must be some some very confusing times at this because you say we're on high alert at all times mentally and physically as well and it does get a little bit yeah. tiring and then it comes to the realization and it's also been announced that one of the symptoms of COVID-19 is also confusion so when these symptoms occur <coughs> it gets extra um, you know we get extra panicky because oh my god am I having this disease or what is happening <laughs> and is it the virus uh, yeah. but when it is the disease is it the virus attacking physically like uh, the nerves, uh, the brain, or is it just us psychologically because we're having these anxieties already? No, I think we have to uh, stress that confusion, uh, that the meanings as uh, more studies and researchers mm -hmm. and articles in, in mental health uh, stress about the confusion. It's quite different with the same confusion that we have in maybe like a, a confused of uh, choosing uh, foods or when we go to a restaurant, it's very different. What we call it confusion in medical terms is the same with delirium. So mm, it's, it's right. very different because the, uh, you know, the alterations of consciousness in confusion or delirium yeah. is happen uh, when we have a kind of like a brain system that affected with the virus itself or because of the brain system that affected with the you know systemic problems of the virus so it's uh, seen that from the study we know that the confusion or delirium is happened with uh, within the patients with all the people you no know, 65 years old or uh, older and it has something uh, very uh, you know kind of like a new us but in medical terms People, when have a serious uh, problem of uh, illness, they go to the ICU, you know, intensive care yes. unit. And more than 50% of the patient in ICU will, you know, experience the confusion or the delirium. Mm. So it's quite different, uh, the delirium or confusion in the medical terms with the lay people said about the confusion of choosing something. Yeah. Okay. So we have to, to differentiate that first. 
Okay, Dr. Andy, you just differentiate uh, the delirium and confusion between, you know, the one in the medical, um, uh, somewhat in the medical uh, language, and then those that we know and yeah. uh, common use that is used by the public. Now, you know, there are some patients that are infected by the COVID-19 that has no symptoms. They don't have any fevers. They have no coughs and whatnot. So how could we yeah. distinguish between, you know, the confusion or uh, not confusion, distinguish like we're having a bad mood. Maybe we're just getting the common flu. <clears throat> or, or really having yeah. the symptomatic of COVID-19? How can we really differentiate that, Doc? Yes, uh, this is one I want to stress. From the medical uh, background, we know that uh, many patients with symptomatic COVID-19, so we have to wear masks or mm -hmm. we have to ma uh, wear masks uh, all the time. Right. So it is uh, why, because, uh, how to protect us and other people. So we know we don't know exactly what is uh, the, the you know the real symptoms because it's new uh, you know kind of like a disease and we're still uh, finding out new research every day come out and then, then mm -hmm. we know mm -hmm. that recently uh, there is a kind of different with the yeah. past uh, research or studies about the virus and about the symptoms of mood it's quite different because when we see about the uh, confusion or delirium it's the alteration of consciousness so it for make it easy is when we ask something mm -hmm. about the mis uh, date or maybe about the place when we see the place or the date for the person with uh, anxiety uh, with uh, delirium or uh, confusion they cannot mention it so when mm -hmm. i uh, ask uh, you know where it is now, or do you know what date is today? Uh, they they confuse that. It seems to be the you know the symptoms of the delirium or the confusion in medical terms. But when we see a patient with the uh, symptoms of mood, uh, you know alteration like uh, depression or anxiety, it's very different because they still know and they still can focus on the you know the the situations of recently or the date of the today or maybe the place or the, the people they see or the people they met every day. So it's quite different uh, and it's very easy to understand because uh, as a medical you know, practitioner, we can see the difference. That's why when mm. you have a symptoms, you must go. You know, sometimes I see a you know WhatsApp group, they, they, they spread all the message about how to, you know, to treat yourself with medicine. It's very dangerous, you know, so you have to go to you know, to see a doctor when you have a kind of symptoms mm. of maybe mental health problems or even now it's physical problems. Don't treat yourself with, you know, the medication that's spread on the WhatsApp. Or even they have also the antivirus and antibacterial. It's very dangerous to use them without any, you know, supervision from the doctors. Well, yeah, that's that's I think the the best way you described it is the differences, you know, between between our anxieties that we're feeling, but we're still very aware of the things around us. Where the doc you just described that uh, when the delirium happens for patients in COVID-19 is that they lose all sense of awareness of what they are and and time and spatial, right? right. So that's that's the biggest difference, and that's actually very very difficult sometimes us individually because of our already mental state and anxiety and exactly. constant alert to really be aware and thank you doctor for emphasizing as well that it's so important to always go to the professionals to to really diagnose and we know all these messages um, are being spread so easily just making sure that we're not misinformed yeah. yes sorry dr Andy. just uh, just a very quick question i mean regarding this kai yeah. you know when i heard a lot of experiences from covid 19 survivors and patients uh, before we go to the next segment, but this is regarding the patient itself. Um, there is a question regarding those who are infected. What they said is because they got you know a depression and whatnot because they can't see the family, so they don't have confusion, they don't have delirium, but because they're isolated, so then they got the bad mood and depression itself, and that really decreases their immunity. And it really shown in the data itself if they're not yeah. positive thinking, if they don't you know feel better for themselves, engaging to feel better, then the patient itself will recover uh, kind of longer as opposed to the those who have like positive mind, you know, kind of like, okay, I got to get better because I have to see my children, I have to see my family. Does that really happen? It is factual in the health, uh, health data itself, doctor? Yeah, uh, the problem now with the, uh, the COVID-19 is very different uh, situation, you know, and mm -hmm. 
then we know it is uh, uh, infected. So they 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 they, they don't uh, re uh, when we see a, a patient uh, when they isolation or quarantine, they uh, you know uh, you know separate from their families. And I know it's very hard for some people. I have so many patients; uh, they have uh, anxiety, yeah. uh, you know. Uh, recurrence after the uh, COVID-19 infection. We have to move to another hospital or maybe to the athlete and they feel lonely, they feel isolation. But I think uh, the way, because we know that the support of mental health in Wisma Athlete or any hospital with uh, COVID-19 infection is now uh, you know supported by mental health uh, uh, workers also. So they can sell also, they can support each other uh, with the, with the uh, situations right now but I know so some people they have a kind of an issue because if they have a, a problem so it's in we see the the previous interview that there are uh, so many uh, things uh, that can uh, uh, suffer from that I think it's very different and the uh, people we have to acknowledge that they have some uh, mental issues background mm. uh, and then we have to be very mm. careful that's why in Wisma athlete there is a kind of uh, when we have uh, certain of uh, mental health problems mm -hmm. uh, they separate you uh, yeah. from the what we call the PDGJ patient with a uh, mental health issue it's quite different uh, you know not only the physical but also the issues can be the physicians there well, it requires, of course, a different treatment. So we will be back with Dr. Andri as well because we've spoken about how COVID-19 patients manages uh, um, the health, uh, mental health state. And that now we're also going to find out how we also get to cope yes. a little bit better. All that uh, with more conversation as well about mental health during this pandemic only in C Morning Show after the break. We'll see you soon.